The next thing that we're going to need to do is create description key sets. And for this particular example, that's actually going to be pretty important for us because this file is full of description key sets in here. When working in the field, surveyors may use cryptic numbers instead of text. When moving this information to CAD, to a CAD drawing, it may be more useful to us to convert these raw descriptions into full descriptions. For example, we have this ST1 ELE, and we have this MHBM. We don't we don't really know what this means, but when we take it into Civil 3D, we probably don't want it to show up in there as MHBM. We probably want it to show up as something that is maybe a little bit more meaningful to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new description key set. So I just minimize that window. And I'm going to go over here to my settings tab. And I'm going to look for my points group, which is up here. I'm going to expand my points. And I'm going to look for my description key sets. And I'm going to expand that. And right now we see Civil 3D, and this is the default de description key set. So I'm going to right click on, I'm going to select my description key sets and then right click on that and choose new. And I'm going to create a new description key set called Campus Creek DKS for de description key set. And I'm going to click OK. So now I can see where it says description key sets. I now have a Campus Creek DKS, which is occurring above my Civil 3D default one. 